Despite the bad news for some, the government's keen to show it's getting on with the job of growing the economy. Small businesses are winners in this budget, with the government vowing to lift the tax-free threshold for payroll tax from 700000 to 900000 from next year. Stamp duty on commercial properties will be phased out, replaced by an annual property tax that can be paid over 10 years. And a levy on business insurance has been scrapped. But the tax breaks don't extend to elite private schools. About 110 of the most expensive will no longer be exempt from payroll tax. The broader education sector will benefit from significant spending in the coming year, including $618 million to build nine new schools in Melbourne upgrades at another 43 schools and $1.4 billion to continue the government's free kindergarten scheme. The budget also tips $4.9 billion into the strained health system, including $320 million for new hospital infrastructure, increasing statewide hospital capacity by more than 300 patients and $286 million for women's health that includes funding for 20 new dedicated health clinics. The Treasurer says today's budget was his most difficult yet. The opposition's described it as nasty. For his part, the Premier Daniel Andrews says, despite the spending cuts and the new taxes, today's budget was all about delivering a positive plan for the things that matter.